Get a new fire station for Tawanda has led Butler County to take over the volunteer fire department. KSN's Derek Lytle spoke to the chief and city leaders and explains why they pushed for the change. Derek? Jeff, Julia, Tawanda's fire chief tells me they already struggle with similar issues of other volunteer-run departments, staffing, response times, and old equipment. He says their fire station is nearly 50 years old, is cramped, and does not allow them to provide the best service they can to the public, hoping that'll change to be governed by the county, and it hopes to address that. It's a challenge. It's really a challenge. Tawanda Volunteer Fire Chief Tom Pyle says their current fire station has no locker room and narrow access between fire trucks, which he says creates difficulties responding to calls in a timely manner. The requirements on a volunteer just keep going up and up and up. Uh, and we're finding ourselves constrained by this 50-year-old building. Have two firefighters moving in opposite directions, even in one direction, trying to carry their gear. Um, it, it's just a pain in the rear to try to get through these narrow passageways. City admin Andy Newbury says having the department governed by the city and township of Tawanda makes it a challenge to go after funding for such a move. He believes the county's oversight will create the opportunity for a new fire station. By doing that, by putting it with the county, now they have the ability to, to issue bonds if we need a new fire station, and it makes that structure much more doable. Tawanda's mayor, Jennifer Schultz, says the move also establishes a five-member fire board. She says the city is overwhelmed with infrastructure issues and says the county will better assist the fire department. We want to give them adequate um, attention and a fire board that's specifically ready to focus on that problem. The fire department will become the District 11 on the first of the new year. They have no timeline to create a new building in Tawanda. Here for you, Derek Lytle, KSN News 3.